Hi, everybody. Welcome to the first YouTube video in a long time. Um, I've had a really rough summer for a number of reasons, um, primarily because we had to put my husky down um, just from old age. So it's just been a, a really long summer. <clears throat> um, and I'm sorry to have left you hanging for a little bit uh, here on the YouTube channel, but I'm excited to get back into it. So thanks for being patient with me. Today we are going to do just like a feel good flow for the whole body. So come to a seated position. Take a deep breath in, sweep your arms up overhead. As you exhale, do a little twist to the left. Take your right hand to your left knee. Gently pull. And then breathe in, sweep the arms up overhead. Breathe out, we'll go over to the other side. Breathe in, lift the arms up. Exhale, bend at the elbows to bring your hands to your shoulders and then breathe in, sweep the arms, or the elbows rather, up towards the sky and you're gonna draw a big circle three times. And at the end of that circle, you wanna kinda squeeze your shoulder blades together Nice, and then we'll go in the other direction three times. So squeeze the shoulder blades together as the elbows go back behind you. And just notice how those shoulder joints are feeling last time around. And then release the hands, take the left hand off to the side, sweep the right arm up and over, and then push into that left hand so that you can press out through the ribs. Take a nice deep breath in and kind of spin your chest up towards the sky. And then exhale, lower right hand down. We're gonna walk with the hands all the way out in front. Do a little wiggle side to side, maybe get something nice through the hips. And then as you breathe in, rise up. And we'll take the hands back behind you, maybe six inches or so. And then lift the hips, lift the chest, let the head go back. And exhale, lower down. Breathe in, we'll take the right hand off to the side, left arm comes up and over, and then press those ribs out to the side by pushing into this lower palm. And then as you breathe in, spin the chest up towards the ceiling. And then lower the hand down and walk out in front of you. And then in, we're gonna pull the furthest foot away in towards your pelvis and replace with the other leg and then walk back out and we'll sway side to side just so we can get into that other hip. And then as you breathe in, rise up, take the hands back behind you, fingers point away from you, press into the hands to lift the hips, lift the chest, let the head go back and gently release. From here, come up onto all fours Curl your toes, sit your hips back to your heels. Get a nice stretch across the bottoms of the feet. See if you can get all five toes of each foot on the mat. And if you can't, you can just reach back and help those toes come to meet the mat. As you breathe in, come back to center, shoulders over wrists. Push the ground away so that you come up out of the shoulders so you're not sinking into the shoulders. And then from here, round your back, tuck your chin towards your chest, tuck the tailbone, and then breathe in. Lower the chest, but keep the arms straight. Lift the head, lift the tailbone. Two more just like that. Exhale, tuck chin to chest. Create some space between the ribs. Breathe in, lower chest, lift head and tailbone. One more, tuck chin to chest. Gather the core here, feel the core, cinch at the waistline, and then lift and then release. From here, come up and back with the hips and begin to pedal your legs out one at a time for downward dog. Reaching your heel towards the ground with each pedal. If it doesn't get there, no big deal. You just have that intention. And then check in with the shoulders. Make sure that you're not kind of up here with the shoulders. You wanna push the mat away from you so you have a long armpit on each side. Bend your knees deeply, lift the hips up and back even more so you have length and space through the spine, through the armpits, and then intend to straighten the legs, but no worries if they don't get there. Put a little more weight into the balls of the feet 
and then kind of roll out to the side, kind of like where the mound of your pinky toe is. And just play around with that, going in and out. Last time, a little more pressure into the balls of the feet. And then make your way over towards the pinky side. And breathe in, sweep your right leg up and back. Bend the knee, open up the hips. Your right shoulder is going to want to lift, keep it in line with your left shoulder. Spread right toes, take a deep breath in, rise up onto the ball of the left foot, and bring your right foot towards the front. Now if you get stuck, just help it to come forward. Lower left knee down, breathe in, lift the arms up and back. Send the hips forward, thumbs point back behind you. Exhale, lower the hands down, curl back toes. Lift the back knee, straighten the leg, and strengthen the leg as you sweep the right arm up towards the sky. Lower right hand down, step back to a plank position. Let's do one scap push-up. So you're going to keep your arms straight, squeeze the shoulder blades together, then push away around your back. Then lift your hips up and back, pedal your knees again. Pausing anywhere you need to. Then sweep left leg up and back. Bend the knee, open up the hips. Spread left toes, left shoulder is going to want to lift, keep it in line with right shoulder. Come up high onto the ball of the right foot, step the left foot towards the front. Lower right knee down. Breathe in, sweep the arms up and back. Exhale, press the hips forward, lean back, lift up out of the chest so there's no compression in the lumbar spine. Lower the hands down, curl back toes, lift back knee. Strengthen that back leg and sweep the left arm up towards the sky. Lower the left hand down, but bring it in between the foot and the right hand and begin to shift so you're facing the long edge of your mat. Then we're going to kind of do a lunge to the right, lunge to the left, and just see what's going on in the inner thighs. Sit the weight into the heel and the outside edge of the foot. So if I'm on the inside edge of my foot, my knee's going to go inward. If I'm on the outside edge of the foot, my knee is going to be nice and in line with that ankle. Shift the hips, think hips back rather than down. And then come back to center, toes in, heels out. So you're kind of pigeon toed. Bend your knees, I had to think about that for a second. Bend your knees and then intend to straighten, bend and straighten. Now as you're here bending and straightening, you're gonna bring some awareness to the outside edges of the feet. We really wanna push into there because it'll help to open up the peroneals, these muscles that run along the side of the lateral, a uh, side of the lower leg rather, lateral side of the lower leg. So bend and straighten, bend and straighten. And then pause anywhere that feels good. Like if it doesn't feel great to straighten the legs, don't straighten them, but you could have a little bend, but you have that intention. So you're getting something either on this area or maybe through the hamstrings or inner thighs. Then bring some awareness to the spine and let's do some baby cat cows. So as you breathe in, you're lifting your head and tailbone. As you breathe out, you're rounding your back. We're gonna add a little bit of a twist here. If you have a block, you could put it right underneath your face, especially if your hamstrings or legs or hips are tight. Um, but otherwise, just keep the knees bent but intend to straighten. So right hand's gonna go directly underneath your face. Bring your left hand to your sacrum, part of it just like just below your low back, and then lift just the shoulder. So you're twisting from the shoulder rather than the hips. So see how this hip lifts? We wanna kinda keep that hip in line. So you're, you're using your hand to make sure that your lumbar spine stays flat rather than lifting up. So, left hand to hip, lift the shoulder. If that feels good, you could try lifting the arm. You want to try to think about shoulders being in one line if possible. If this doesn't feel great for the shoulder, just keep your hand here. As long as you have that intention of twisting through the spine, that's all you really need. I like to also play with shifting the weight from the heel to the ball of the feet. And then gently release. We'll take it over to the other side. Right hand's going to the sacrum. Breathe in, roll up through that right shoulder. Option to stay there or option to lift that arm. So I'm a little bit tighter on this side. I can feel it. Be really mindful about it. If you're feeling tight on one side, always an option to go back to what we just did. As long as you have that intention of twisting, that's all that really matters. 
And then option to shift your weight from your heels to the balls of the feet. Just find a different sensation of stretch. Gently release. Let's go heels in, toes out with the feet sit low. We'll kind of rise up here and bring the hands to the tops of the thighs. Sit nice and low, be mindful about where the knees are. We don't really want them in. We want to think, them, think that they're pushing out. So press into the outside edges of the feet. Take a deep breath and get long through the spine. As you exhale, we'll twist. So you're looking out to the side. And as you're doing that, you can use your leg as leverage to push and get something nice through the inner thigh, good stretch through those inner thigh muscles, and then breathe in, lengthen up, come back to center, breathe out, go to the other side. Breathe in, come back to center, go ahead and stand up, and let's turn on the right foot so that the toes are pointed to this wide edge of the mat. Left toes are gonna to point to the short edge of the mat and then take a look at that left heel. You want it in line with the center of your back foot. Breathe in, open up the arms. As you exhale, shift just the upper body forward. And when you can't go forward anymore, find your way into Trikonasana, Triangle Pose. As you're here, think about doing almost like a mini back bend so that you're getting your upper body aligned with your lower body. See if maybe you can find a stretch between the top of this hip and this low rib in through the QL. And think about firming up through these front quad muscles so that your knee stays protected, maybe a little micro bend through that knee. Look down at the ground, bend your front knee a little bit, and use your core strength to rise up. We'll take it over to the other side, so now left toes are pointing towards the wide edge of the mat, right toes are pointing towards the short edge of the mat, hips are even. Breathe in, come forward. Breathe out, rotate the hands to 6 and 12 o'clock. Think about doing a little mini back bend while also tucking these front ribs so that your upper body stays aligned with your lower body. See if maybe you can create some space between the top of that hip and your lowest rib. Firm up the front leg muscles. And then look down at the foot, bend your knee a little bit, use your core to rise up. Hands to hips, toes are facing the wide edge of the mat. Lean back, look up, and exhale, stand up. We'll bring heels to toes to come to center. <laughs> and then shift your weight over onto your left foot. I'm actually going to start mirroring, which means I'm going to say the opposite of what I'm doing so that on the screen it looks better or it like makes more sense for you. So I'm gonna say actually shift your weight to your right foot. Cross your left ankle over right thigh. As you're here, you wanna be really mindful about your spine. So try not to round your back. If anything, think about length through the spine, trying to avoid arching through the spine. As you're here, think about pressing the lifted knee down towards the ground. The closer you bring your chest towards your shin, the more you're gonna get through this hip. So breathing here, holding here, think about drawing your shoulder blades gently towards one another. Weight is in the heel and the outside edge of the foot. Left foot has toes spread. Then as you breathe in, you're gonna rise up, stand tall, bring the knee into your chest, give it a nice hug. Gently release, let's shift it to the other side. So now the weight is on the left foot. You send your hips back as you lift the right knee and cross right ankle over left thigh. Begin to engage the shoulder blades. Spread right toes. Think about hips back, chest down, spine neutral. Pressing the weight into the heel and the outside edge of the foot. If you're wobbling or falling, no big deal, just get right back into it. Always an option to place your hand against the wall or a chair, whatever you need. And then on your next inhale, rise up, hug your knee to your chest. Nice, gently release. Come down onto the mat and come to lay down. We'll press into the feet with knees bent, lifting up through the hips and then tucking the tailbone a little bit. So you're gonna stretch maybe through the hip flexors, 
tiny bit of glue activation and let's just add a pulse to get a little bit of that glue activation. Glutes are so important, they help to protect your spine, stabilize your pelvis. We'll do three more, two and one. Then lower the hips down, lift the right leg, flex the foot as best you can, intend to straighten the leg. If it doesn't straighten, no big deal. As long as you have that intention and you're feeling something good through your hamstrings, you should be good. Interlace the fingers around the back of the leg, anywhere that works for you. Then take a look at your knee and identify your kneecap. Then what we're gonna do is rotate the leg so the kneecap is now pointed towards your opposite shoulder. So we've lifted the right leg, now we're rotating the leg. Imagine like we're kind of rotating from the head of that femur and we're rotating it so the kneecap points towards your left shoulder. Then take a deep breath in and as you exhale, pull that leg a little closer to you. What we're trying to get is um, the biceps femoris, one of your hamstring muscles. Option to extend the left leg if you need a little bit more intensity. Whew. If the intensity is too much, feel free to bend the knee, give yourself a little bit of a break, and then get right back into it when you're ready. Intending to flex the foot, maybe spread the toes, and gently release. Bend that leg, put the foot on the ground, and then let's see what's going on on the other side. So intending to flex the foot, intending to straighten the leg, interlacing the fingers around the back of the leg, anywhere that feels good for you. Always an option to use a strap if you like. And then identify the kneecap and rotate the leg without moving the hip. So you don't wanna like, you know, jerk the hip around. Keep the hips even and just rotate the leg, pointing the kneecap towards your right shoulder. Flexing the foot, pulling it in until you feel a nice stretch. Option to extend right leg for a little bit more intensity. And as always, if you ever need a break, just bend that leg, come out of it, and get right back in. Gently release, bend the leg, placing the foot down on the ground. Let's do the same thing with the opposite leg. And let's just go side to side, little windshield wiper. One more time each side. And then from here, hug your knees into your chest. Tuck your chin a little bit so the back of your neck is long. Maybe a little rock side to side. Bring your hands underneath your knees. Give a little rock and roll to sit up. And we'll come back to a seated position. Bring your hands to heart center. Press your thumbs into your sternum. Tuck your chin to your chest. Close your eyes and take a deep breath in. Just taking a second to acknowledge your practice and your health. When you're ready, seal it in. Namaste. Thank you so much for practicing with me. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope to see you soon here on the Yoga by Candice YouTube channel.